Hi students, we are doing a problem from cylinder, solids 11. This problem has come for KTU few months back, September 2020. It's a cylinder, a cylinder 60 mm diameter, 70 mm axis height, rest on HP on a point of its base circle, rest on HP on a point of its base circle. With the base face, that is a circular face, making 45 degrees to HP. The circular base making 45 degrees to HP. And the top view of the axis making 30 degrees to VP. Top view of the axis making 30 degrees to VP. That is a question. That is a question. Let us draw that. Simple position. Simple position, you are keeping the cylinder on the ground. Keeping the cylinder on the ground. 8, I mean 12 points on the base circle. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. The 12 points of the base. 12 points of the base. M, N, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. The 12 points at the top. Axis OP. I am drawing the elevation. Draw projectors through all points in the plan. You get the elevation. I am marking the axis, I am marking the points up by, I am not drawing through lines, that is not necessary. And I am naming them A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, G dash, H dash, I dash, J dash, K dash, L dash, axis O dash, P dash, M dash, N dash, Q dash, R dash, S dash, T dash, U E, U dash, V dash, W dash, X dash, Y dash, Z dash. You have got all the 12 plus, 12 plus 2, 28 points of the cylinder. Now, you have to redraw this elevation, tilt the cylinder, tilt the cylinder such that it rests on the point G and the base making 45 degrees to HP. When the base is lifted 45 degrees, to lifted 45 degrees, <coughs> the axis also will make 45 degrees to HP, isn't it? Okay. I tilt the base 45 degrees and I redraw the elevation. Take this distance and mark. I have redrawn that elevation. I think it is. Uh, let's take the approximate dimensions and check. This is the diameter. It's almost same, no good. What about axis length? Almost same, no good. Okay. Then mark the subsequent points. This is G1 dash, no doubt. G1 dash. Mark all the points. Take from this and mark. And also on the Top. This is G dash, G1 dash, this is A1 dash, this is M1 dash and this is U1 dash. This is U1 dash. And this is the axis O1 dash, P1 dash. This is B1 dash, this is C1 dash, this is D1 dash, this is E1 dash, F1 dash and so on. I am not marking all the points but I am marking this angle. 45 degrees. The question says this is 45 degrees. Okay. Now, M1 dash, M1 dash, Q1 dash, R1 dash, S1 dash, T1 dash, U1 dash, V1 dash, W1 dash, X1 dash, Y1 dash, Z1 dash. You can mark all the points or if you are confident enough, you can skip some points. No problem. Draw a table project this down.
from here also Draw a circle like this. Mark the points. A1. B1, C1, D1, E1, F1, G1, H1, I1, J1, K1, L1, O1. M1, N1, Q1, R1, S1, T1, U1, V1, W1, X1, Y1, Z1. P1. Now, when you look for the top, which circular face you will see? The one called A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L or the one called M, N, Q, F, M, N to Z? Which will be seen? This will be seen. This is nearer to the observer. So that is firm. I'm sorry I didn't get the shape well. Since I am not following dimensions, this is all uh, that is expected. Okay, still I used to get better shapes. Okay, this is the cylinder. How is the cylinder now? The cylinder is resting on HP on a point of its base circle with axis now parallel to VP and the base tilted to 45 degrees to HP. Now, this is not sufficient. The question says, the question says the top view of axis. What is the top view of axis? O1 V1. Top view of axis makes 30 degrees to x y line. Now top view of axis makes 0 degrees to x y line. Parallel. Parallel to x y line. This has to be redrawn. How will you redraw? This is to be redrawn in such a way that O1 V1, which you draw here as O2 P2, makes 30 degrees to x y line. So what you do is Take any point on XY line, draw a 30 degree line. On this line, you have to locate or draw this plan. How will you do that? Take the distance O1, P1 and mark here. Mark. Is it 30 degrees? Okay, now go. Around this, you have to mark all these points. Mark all these points. Draw perpendiculars through them. And finally, do that here also. and draw the plan
O2 P2. I drew this a little bit bigger. It has become longer. Okay. O2P. This is what A2, B2, C2, D2, E2, F2, G2, H2, I2, J2, K2, L2. Similarly, M2, N2, Q2, R2, S2, T2, U2, V2, W2, X2, Y2, Z. Draw vertical projectors up, draw horizontal projectors, you get the final result. Let's do that. I am not drawing through all points. You have to draw horizontal projectors. This is the shape of the elevation which you are going to get. When you draw vertical projectors and the horizontal projectors, this is the shape of the elevation which you are going to get. The full base will be visible. In the plan, the base is not fully visible. In the elevation, the full base will be visible. And the top, part of the top will not be visible. And uh, this is how it will look like. The disadvantage, now the, let me mark the points. This is A2 dash, uh, this is G2 dash, this is uh, EM2 dash and uh, this is this is U2 dash. The disadvantage of this method is when you redraw this much now, you will lose 10 minutes minimum. However fast you draw, you will lose 10 minutes. So, if you go for auxiliary projection method, this problem can be drawn in 20 minutes, whereas this will consume anything around 40 minutes. I will be drawing this problem by auxiliary projection method also. Okay, this question is very important. If it is a cone, what happens? The elevation will be a triangle. 
the plan also will have only apex here and here also only apex and here also the apex will be this. So a similar question, if you substitute instead of a cylinder, if you substitute a corn, you can make another question. And also, the plan of axis is making 30 degrees. That is beta. Beta equals 30. Beta is 30. Suppose it is 5 given. Suppose 5 is given. 5 is given. Beta 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 is given. Okay. Thank you.